the weather. We've been talking a lot about Hurricane Michael, and for good reason, but lost in all this is how warm it was back here today. Yeah, 87 was the record, right, Eric? That's right, and we were one degree shy, 86 degrees. And, you know, the only thing that gives it away as not being July, but being October, is that it's dark at 6.30, and you walk outside, and it feels like the middle of summer. Look at those high temperatures out there today, our third 80-degree day of the month. You might be surprised to know that there have been 22 years with at least three 80-degree uh, days in the month of October. So it can happen late, but it's been an ongoing story. We've had the second most 80-degree days on record so far this year. And out there tonight, uh, it's still extremely warm. I'm watching Boston. If it doesn't go below 68 by 1 a.m., it'd be the warmest temperature ever recorded so late in the season. That record was set last year, by the way. The one thing that would maybe change that, there's a backdoor front that just came through Portsmouth, and that will be moving down across southeastern New Hampshire, as well as Essex County, bringing some cooler air that may sneak into Logan Airport. So we'll see what happens as we head toward that 1 a.m. hour. But otherwise, it is just a swamp outside. Dew points are near 70. Again, it'll be very humid again tomorrow. A lot of tropical air moving up the eastern seaboard. A lot of cold behind this system. So once we get past Michael's remnants, things are going to change in a big way here in southern New England. So we do have a flash flood watch out for tomorrow. Widespread one to three inches of rain, and that could lead to some street flooding in those heavier downpours. But the higher end totals are most possible across Cape Cod and the islands. So here's a look at the timing. I mentioned at the top of the newscast, sometimes models are not great with this very shallow, cooler air. And I do think across parts of southern New Hampshire, Essex County, northeastern Massachusetts, Massachusetts, you'll spend most of tomorrow morning in the 50s, be much cooler, less humid there. The rest of us are very mild and very muggy and mostly cloudy in the morning. We'll see some showers moving across central New Hampshire during the morning hours, but most of our rain is during the afternoon and the evening. Very warm in the 70s, very humid outside, some tropical downpours, some areas of thunder and lightning mixed in, and again, some flooding on the roadways, very possible tomorrow afternoon and evening, as you can just feel it outside. It's really tropical, and we've got a tropical storm moving off the coastline. Now, it makes its closest pass on Friday morning, and with that, we'll be tracking the heaviest rainfall right along Buzzards Bay, Cape Cod, and the islands with the highest risk of really torrential rain on Nantucket on Friday morning. So I think we could start the day with a lot of road flooding there toward the Cape and the islands. Noticing that it moves east very quickly, so by midday, it's starting to head offshore. We're going to bring in sunshine rapidly from west to east. The air will really dry out, and we'll see temperatures in the 60s on Friday afternoon. So a lot of rainfall likely here. Again, it will come down at a very fast clip during the day tomorrow and especially tomorrow evening. The winds will get gusty in the warmer sector tomorrow, especially toward the south coast and the Cape out of the south. Interestingly, as Michael passes, our strongest winds will be during the late morning and afternoon, and they'll be offshore winds. They'll be northwesterly winds, very gusty, especially near the coastline. So all told, we'll be watching Part of that wind story, it's not going to be nearly as strong as what you'd expect for, say, a hurricane. And then as we look at the rainfall, that will be having its highest impact in the evening into Friday morning. The seas at 7 to 11 feet. Now, while it's humid tomorrow, very tropical, we get a wholesale pattern change setting up as we head into Friday and Saturday. A couple of rain showers on Saturday, mostly cloudy skies, very cool, more of a November day. And then on Sunday, we'll get into brighter conditions. And we will dry out on Saturday evening so that the Red Sox have no issues there at Fenway, just a chilly night and quite chilly on Sunday as well. In fact, we may see our first frost on Sunday morning. And uh, David and Lisa, I think we are done with summer weather after tomorrow. Mm. All right. I feel like that's okay. It's, it's about October. time. Hung up. Yeah. <laughs>